Hey guys, it is me, Love Nails Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, and today I am back <laughs> um, with my gel polish remover video that I said I was gonna do. I have wanted to use. I hope you guys can see this lighting is kind of weird today. Um, I have wanted to do a video of me using the gel polish remover tool by Sassy and Chic that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I, I don't know if I said Dollar Tree like 50 times already, but <laughs> yeah, so um, I purposely let my nails get really bad, kind of. Um, and I also really hadn't had time. I've been kind of busy. There we go. And I hadn't really had a chance to get to it, so they look a little bit worse than I wanted them to look. <laughs> I mean, leave it up to me to chip gel pot. I mean, girl, I, 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 I don't know. Just please don't don't judge me okay <laughs> um, but my excuse is i'm doing it for the tube okay <laughs> um but yeah i couldn't help but peel this one off this morning while i was sitting in line to get my iced coffee at tim hortons <laughs> i peeled this one off but um i figured it should go fairly easy because they're chipped already so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um i have one open already this is what it looks like and this is the end of it It's the back so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and see if i can slide the rest of the gel polish off y'all can see it's very terrible a little blurry there huh there we go looks so bad oh my god i should be ashamed because <laughs> it seems like every time i come on here i do a video i'm putting y'all on my tripod so put on your seat belts <laughs> i feel like every time i come on here my nails are chipped but y'all i'm just always doing something always like my nails don't if i'm wearing acrylic nails that's about the only time that my nail polish does not chip is when i'm wearing acrylic nails they barely chip when i'm wearing that so with these short little nails i'm you know i'm lucky to get through a week without my polish chipping go off. ahead and get started um removing so i'm just gonna use this part to go up under and kind of peel it off as gently as possible. I don't want to be too rough. Let's see if it works. And then if this does not work that good, I'm going to go ahead and put on my soak off um, gloves or either the little soak off covers that I have. But I'll see how this does first. So far, it's coming off pretty good. I don't know why it's getting blurry on you. All right, there's a piece. Gonna go around. Okay, that one's off. I think I'm gonna put little cuticle oil on just because I see it's a little harsh on the nail bed itself just to get them a little bit oily to help with the removal I like to call it juices and berries and put a little bit of juices and berries on my fingernails <laughs>
you can see I was working on this thumbnail. This nail is, the polish is a lot thinner than it was on the other nails. So this one's taking a bit longer. As far as the other nails, um, wasn't too bad. I'd say in total so far it's been in real time of me removing those about five, five to seven minutes so far. So that's not too bad. But I'm just having a little trouble with this one because if it's so thin. Oh, it helped to flip this around. That really helped. It got under there perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. I'm new at this. First time here. First time. It was my first time doing gel nails. First time removing gel nail polish. So, as you guys can see, there's all the pillies. So, this hand is done. So, I'm going to start off this way with this one and see how this goes. Oh yeah, look at that, one whole piece. Oh, my nail, my nail came off a bit under there, which is why I wanted to have that cuticle oil on. Well, I got the next hand all off. My fingernails underneath are so dirty. Please excuse it. Couldn't see that till I got this dark polish off of my nails. <laughs> but that time to do these, it only took, um, according to my video camera, it was almost to four minutes. So, yeah, not very long at all. So, all in all, I would say that this works great. This was great, especially when I turned it around this way too blurry this way it worked too like I said you know with the thicker polish boom 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 it got it off but when it was thinner and getting around the edges it just popped it off so much easier as you can see the the rest of the hands I think I kept it this way most of the time so yeah this is great so um <coughs> excuse me if you guys can find this at your Dollar Tree, definitely pick it up. I mean, you can't go wrong for a dollar. When I was in Sally Beauty Supply, I seen some for eight bucks. Um, they did have a couple different styles, but I mean, you can't go wrong for a dollar. I think this is great for me for now, since I'm just now getting into gel polish. I don't need to spend a ton of money um, on a gel polish remover tool, because I probably won't be doing gel nails at that much you know so this was great for now so yeah I hope this was helpful to you guys and if you guys do find this tool at your local Dollar Tree let me know um all right thank you guys so 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 much for watching make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up oh and thank you guys for saying hi to my mom in the comments that was great i told her to go watch the video um i shared the link and she checked the comments she don't know how to reply so she didn't uh reply but she did give me a call and say she watched it and that she seen the two of y'all who said thank you so thank you for that it may be some more on there now but when i recently looked it was a couple people that said hello to her so thank you so much all right y'all y'all have a great day and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to turn that bell on so you guys know when i upload the next one all right bye y'all